Good evening, YouTube viewers and subscribers. <clears throat> so I've just recently done something that I've never done before, which was there was a RC Groups member that had a Inya 46 four cycle engine that for you know some months has been saying that he's wanting to get it repaired and that type of thing. So I decided that I would just contact him and just basically do an engine swap with him. Now I had a Inya 46 four cycle engine that was brand new actually it had about six runs on it. So I asked him to send me pictures of his, tell me a little bit about what was wrong with his engine and I told him I said well I'll just give you mine give me yours I'll take your engine and I'll just send you mine so that's what I've done I packaged my engine up in the box that his came in and I'm sending it to him so this is his engine here let me try and get the zoom right here so I just want to take a quick look at this thing and see uh, what the issue is with it he had mentioned something about maybe something in the valve train wasn't right uh, now, those of you that are familiar with Inya engines will notice right away that this rocker cover is on backwards. Um, so we're going to start by taking this rocker cover off and see what we can find with this engine. Now, I don't have a glow plug in it, so I'm not sure what the compression is like. But, I thought I just had a glow plug laying here. Yeah. So let me just throw a glow plug in here real quick. No gasket on the glow plug, but I don't think it'll matter for this little experiment. Okay, so let's take a look at the rocker arm movement. Oh, okay, it's got this engine has compression, and if we zoom in, you'll see that both intake and exhaust valve operate. So. I don't see any issues yet with this engine, um, but neither valve is stuck or sticking. Valve lash feels a little tight. Shrimp. I think I feel a little bit of movement in the exhaust, but I don't know. Let me get my gauges out real quick here. So here's my go gauge. It goes. Intake valve is too tight. Exhaust valve is perfect. Intake valve is too tight. So, <clears throat> yep, piston is at top dead center. So I know I'm in the right area. So this thing will have better compression probably once the valves are adjusted. But for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and at least remove this head see if we can try to figure out how much runtime this engine has or guess anyway that's one of the things I always like to do I like to guess and with these Inya 40 46 four cycle engines this screw that holds the rock garments in place is one of the head screws that's why it's so long looks like this engine may just need a good cleaning is all I'm not seeing anything wrong with it at this moment bearings feel pretty good in it I mean the lugs look good now it does have this spot here which looks like maybe it was drilled and filled or at one time was uh, ignition conversion was possibly begun on it Oh 
Oh yeah. Well, silly. Let me run these in. Couple of these in real quick. Because it kind of helps if you remove the carp first. Kind of helps make it a little easier to get the engine apart there, or the head off. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it's really dry in here. <clears throat> Piston is not completely coated with exhaust or carbon residue. Let's take a oh geez. I don't know of anything about this engine. I don't know if it's been cleaned or anything. But here's the what the valves look like. Oh duh. And I just zoomed out. Here's what the valves look like. So, based on what I'm seeing here, without knowing the history of this engine, I would say this is a pretty low runtime engine. I see absolutely no issue with the valve train whatsoever here. None. None whatsoever. So, it looks like this engine may just need a good cleaning. Although, what I may just do is put it back together and take it for a run and see how it runs. I'll reset the valve obviously but uh, not sure if I'm going to tear this thing down or not yet. At some point I will completely tear this thing down and clean it because I like my inches to be clean but at this moment I don't really see anything wrong with this engine other than the rocker arm cover was put on backwards and the intake valve lash is not set properly. So that's a quick look inside an Inya 46 four cycle engine and if you could just see what my bench looks like and all the other engines that are on here <laughs> it's kind of a mess right now okay so I've done all I'm gonna do with this thing this engine before I run it and the only thing I actually did was I removed the rocker arm cover checked the valve lash found out the intake valve was set too tight so I adjusted that after I reinstalled the head. So I took the head off, took that quick look inside to look at the top of the piston, found out it was very dry inside. And then I noticed that this inlet, fuel inlet to the needle valve, or for the, yeah, for the spray bar was facing this way. So I took the carb off again, rotated this back to a more reasonable position. I put some oil Marvel Mystery Oil in this port, put a little bit of 3-in-1 at the top. I oiled the dry springs and rocker arm assembly and now oh, now this thing has compression so strong that I could barely even turn it over by hand. <coughs> I didn't do any cleaning yet of any sort on this engine. So this isn't going to be a box to the bench run, but I will. The next video you see with this engine will be it running. And uh, I think after it runs and I listen to the bearings, the bearings don't seem or sound too bad, feel too bad right now. I'll tear it down completely, clean it up to my standards, and make this engine great again. So that's the plans for this engine.